Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so we had a request to do a seahorse, uh, preferably dwarf seahorse, care and raising of video. Now, we don't happen to have any dwarf seahorses right now. We do have the red and white banded uh, pipe fish. Care requirements are basically the same. Okay, so in here we got the heater. It's a 10 gallon tank. You don't need much space. Sponge filter because you don't want much current. Okay, regular salt water, uh, 1020, 1025 in there, whatever. People are about the same. Okay, now these need to eat live food. So what you do is uh, you hatch out brine shrimp. There's my little fridge. Not the fridge, I made it into a freezer. You just crank her up real high and defrost it every two weeks. <laughs> it kind of freezes on me. Okay, so these are brine shrimp cysts. They're not an egg, they're a cyst. And the shell has uh, baby brine shrimp in there. And what happens is it gets wet, and if it's exposed to light, the shell will hatch. The cyst will hatch. Okay? I got water running. I better go turn that off. Oh, yeah, there's his filter. Yeah, I run my hose from this room because we don't have water hooked up in my room, even though I've been here since January, and it's now December. Sham's going to get to it real soon. Anyhow. Okay, so, you take the brine shrimp eggs, and you hatch them, okay? Put them in a container, get the airline going pretty good. Let's crank that up a bit. So you can see how I got all this high tech. Okay, that's better. Okay, because they got to be moving. Okay, so, you just basically uh, hatch them in there. Wait till they're all hatched, settle them out. You can see our other videos. We got lots of videos how to separate out brine shrimp. So then you take the uh, brine shrimp that are hatched and you put them in the grow out container. Now if you look at this, you see how it's kind of a light green color. Well, that's the color of uh, where did I put it? The algae. Okay, this is Reef Crow Nanochloropsis oculata, and it's a really it's an all-around good algae. It's got lots of nutrition and uh, got a good nutritional profile so that uh, it makes for good food for baby. So then, these have been here in here a couple of weeks. So I scoop out some. You don't need too many because, uh, well, you don't need that much. And there they are. I'm going to have to change the water on the brine shrimp again because you see all that fuzzy stuff in the water? That's them when they shed their skin, okay? Because uh, they have to shed their skin to grow. And if you look at the base of the tail of these brine shrimp, let's see if we can see any. Oh man, they're tiny. But if you look at the base of their tail, there's a ball on the females. Like right there is a female. You can't i got to get a better camera. Yeah, yeah, I know everybody's been telling me that for years. And uh, anyhow, these have been got loaded with this, because brine shrimp don't have much nutritional uh, value unless it's what's in their tummy. So then you just put the brine shrimp in there, and your pipe fish, your seahorses, uh, everything will all eat them. Yeah, let's see if we can... See, we don't have the ability to find focus on this camera, but, you know, you pay 80 bucks at Canadian Tire, what do you expect? You know? Maybe my son will buy me one for Christmas. Maybe my subscribers will buy me one for Christmas. Yeah, just send the dollars to Carl's Aquarium. Yeah, there you go. Anyhow, he's going to be uh, running around eating these, and, uh... Let's see if he's even noticed them. See, live food is a lot easier than uh, training them to eat frozen food. Now, we've only had this guy a couple of weeks, so uh, he's been eating live food the whole time. But pipe fish uh, and dwarf seahorses are easy because you don't have to grow out the brine shrimp even as far as I did here. Because uh, if you look, you'll see how they're pretty good size. Well, if they're breeding, they're pretty much full size. 
All right, so uh, they're easy to care for. Ten gallon tank, not much in the way of decorations for a pipefish. If you got seahorses, you must put things in there that they can wrap their tiny little tails around. Okay, and they feel secure. And pipefish, seahorses live together. You can also have the um, uh, what do you call them? The ones that hang out around the spines of a long spine urchin. Needlefish. Knife fish, yeah, they're called knife fish. Knife fish, or the other name is shrimp fish. Okay, is he going hunting? Because he's getting near one. So, anyhow, that's it. Uh, how to care for seahorses. Okay? And then change half the water once a week. Acclimate it really slowly back. Like what I do is I change the water, drain her down to here, and then I get a, a bucket and... Uh, set it up here, run a siphon, and just siphon it back in that way. Alright, so how to care for seahorses. Okay, bye.